We're now just a week away from Election Day. I think it's safe to say we are all feeling at least a little overwhelmed. Joining us this morning to share some tips on facing election stress disorder is board certified psychiatrist and best selling author, Dr. Carol Lieberman. Dr. Lieberman, thanks so much for being with us this morning. What an important topic to, to go over at this time. Thank you. Good morning. Can we start with what is election stress disorder? How many of us can be experiencing that? Oh, I think most of us are experiencing that. Uh, it's a combination of psychological problems or feelings and physical feelings. So like things like anxiety, depression, frustration, fear, anger, uh, and all of these things have a physical effect on your body as well. You know, stress has a physical effect. So it could be anything from headaches to high blood pressure, particularly weakening the immune system. That's the most important aspect of stress. So whether it's election stress, or coronavirus stress, or uh, racial tension stress. We're, we're under a lot of stress these days, and it really, we have to be very careful about it because it really is doing a number not only on our, ourselves psychologically, but also on our bodies. Right, right. It's in so interesting. I think we forget that that stress really does live you know, in our bodies and can manifest in all kinds of ways. So you've been working in this field for a very long time. What are you seeing about this year? Why is it different from other election years in the past? Well, you know, election is always, uh, I mean, it gets people um, polarized to some degree, but this year, <laughs> I think is, uh, unless you want to go back a long, long time, um, this year is the worst in uh, recent history in terms of polarization. And, uh, and, and it's because um, the, the, this polarization didn't just come about a few months ago. This has really been building up since 2016. A lot of people weren't happy with the results of 2016, and it's been building up for the four years. And then on top of that, um, as I was saying, there are other things that are causing us stress, too, the coronavirus mm -hmm. and uh, protests and, um, you know, the natural disasters, like you were just talking about the fires in California. So all of these things are acting on us. And... Um, making us a little less rational. Right. So Dr. Lieberman, what can we do about it? I think we all want to be informed citizens. We all want to participate fully in that electoral process, but we want to make sure that we are still healthy when we come out of this. There are things we can do. I mean, that's the positive part of this. First of all, when you start to talk politics with somebody, whoever they are, whatever, a friend, a, um, a relative, anybody, you have to know when to stop. Uh, when you see that they don't agree with you, they have the opposite idea of which candidate they're going to vote for. If they start getting into an argument, you're not going to change their mind. So you just need to back away before you ruin that relationship. Another thing is you need to balance your media diet. You can't just be watching 24-7 news because that gets really stressful. You just need to check in with it. Uh, and in the meantime, have things that are entertaining, make you laugh, and, and just are interesting. Mm -hmm. um, then also um, self-care, you know, that's, that's something that everybody, if everybody practiced self-care, I'll tell you what I mean by that in a minute, we would, mm -hmm. all of these problems would be a lot less. Uh, in terms of coronavirus, the cases wouldn't be going up. And by that, I mean, you know, the basics, eating nutritious food, getting enough sleep. Um, yes, it's hard to sleep when we're all worried about these things, but you certainly can make a bigger effort. Um, not uh, doing things to take stress away from your life, taking a walk, going out in the sun and so on. Laughter, that is a key. We need to all have at least one hour a day of laughter. And then of course, um, vitamins and supplements, immunity supplements and so on. Um, these kinds of things are what we need to do. Uh, social support, talking to other people. And right. then also what's really important is having a hobby or going back to a hobby that you stopped having and a purpose. People have lost their purpose mm -hmm. and we're just kind of floating. And that is so important because when you lose your purpose, um, you feel like, oh, it doesn't matter, nothing matters, you know? And people get into lots of trouble when they think that nothing matters, you know? That's right. When, um, they start acting out or they start drinking or whatever. It, you, you need a purpose. So all of those things, if everybody did that, even though there's craziness going on in the world, you could stay safe. Dr. Carol Lieberman, we have heard it from you. The doctor ordered it. We need to have some fun, and we need to re refine those hobbies that give us a little bit of joy, refocus us to our purpose. Thank you so much, Dr. Lieberman. Appreciate those tips. We can all use them this morning. Thank you.